Hi, this is a specimen preparation for ASTM D6768. And this would um, go in with the uh, GCL specification GCL3, GRI GCL3. Uh, we'd like to prepare specimens uh, across the roll width of a sample. Uh, if you can imagine this is the full roll width of the sample, you would take uh, three foot or one meter off of uh, the, uh, the roll. You subsequently will produce coupons. It's coupons like this. Uh, you have to label the machine direction. You typically do that with a marker. And uh, subsequent to this, these coupons, you now like to prepare specimens. The specimens are prepared uh, with a, uh, a steel uh, rule die. This is uh, four inches or 100 millimeters by uh, 200 millimeters. Typically a cardboard goes underneath the uh, coupon and subsequent to that you're going to cut the specimen out. Uh, you have to orient the die. This is a clicker press. That was uh, 12 tons of uh, pressure by the hydraulic cylinder. The uh, specimen is now trapped in. You see the cardboard uh, underneath. So you Click the specimen out, and now this is one machine direction specimen ready to go into the continuous rate of extension machine and to be tested for tensile. Okay, we're back in the mechanical testing lab at GSI, and we'd like to do the testing for D6768 GCL tensile. And this is going to be used as a uh, threshold value for GCL3 for GRI. You have the continuous rate of extension machine set up with uh, four inch wide grips or 100 millimeter wide grips. The specimen that we've prepared has been placed in these grips and uh, you're gonna, it's a four inch or 100 millimeter grip separation and we're gonna be running it at 12 inches per minute or uh, 300 millimeters per minute. The specimen is all set up and uh, we're ready to run on the continuous rate of extension machine. You see the material closing in and then uh, a rupture of the material is going to be twofold. The first thing that's going to break on this one is the uh, woven on the back and uh, you can hear it audibly uh, breaking and then the non-woven will hang in there and that non-woven is uh, now a, a translational tear across the non-woven which is here and then a rupture of the material. This is uh, generating a lot of clay um, around the, uh, the specimen. Sometimes you'd like to run a uh, vacuum uh, just to, uh, for cleanliness while you're uh, running the specimen. You'll run five in the machine direction. You'll take the value, which is uh, so many pounds or so many newtons, and then divide that by uh, four inches or 100 millimeters to get your uh, GCL tensile strength for GRI 3. This is ASTM D as in David 6768 for GCL 3 specification.